Guys, the chick that's here bringing you another Boopage video. In today's video, guys, as promised, we are bringing you the best five engine room base currently in Warships. And uh, I just set it up. We're going to go ahead and try it out. Now, for five engine room layouts, essentially the idea is to stack three engine rooms on this side. Um, you know, you don't have to copy paste this exact layout, but then you, um, you line up your defenses on the one side. Um, and then you have your stronger defenses, your shock launchers, your, your prototypes. Uh, in back here, and then you protect them with some other, a uh, little bit of splash, a little bit of long range uh, defenses, and then you have your mines on the, the one empty side, and then mines on the other empty side to cover your bases there. Whole idea is just for them to take a lot of time to uh, to get through. So, um, let's go ahead and uh, let's get some upgrades going first, actually. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to max out my building damage. That is maxed out, and I'm going to max out my boom cannons. So this should help us pretty well on uh, on our defense. Now, max out the boom cannons. It's not necessarily for the damage. Uh, it's they get a pretty good um, health bonus. So again, time slow. So it, it, it helps with that. So let's go ahead and uh, take into battle uh, what we've been using here lately. So I got this from shout out to OP Destroy, uh, my guy on YouTube. You obviously know who he is. Um, he was helping me out with some of the offensive stuff because uh, I was struggling a little bit lately. So I've been switching up to two rifle, four uh, bombardiers, and two seekers with Kavan in second wind. And it's been working really, really well. So hopefully uh, we can kind of break that down for you here. So we're instantly matched up with five engine room bases. And you see exactly uh, what I said here that it's kind of the same thing. It's pretty similar. Um, you're going to see most of the bases are uh, pretty much the same. So, to attack these, I think the best idea is not going to be to do split attacks. Uh, I don't think that's going to be in our best interest right now. Um, so let's go rifle, rifle, one, two, three, four, gramps. And then we're going to go Mr. Kavan right there with a nice second wind uh, to bring in a nice fresh amount of rifle. Now you don't want to spam the second wind off the start because you want Kavan to be bringing back Seekers. You want him to be bringing back Bombardiers. You don't necessarily need a ton of rifle right off the start. Um, they just end up getting thrown into um, into all the splash damage defenses, just kind of dying instantly. So there's two ways to use seekers. You can use them uh, to take down engine rooms faster, which obviously everybody would want. You know that would be ideal. Or you can use them as uh, distraction troops, which works actually quite well. I'm gonna go with the second win here a little bit early, just because uh, we have the troops for it. So you see what I mean right there. Obviously they take down the. Um, I'm going to wait for this flamethrower to go down. I'm actually going to throw a medkit here, and then we're going to go second one there, just so Kavan doesn't die. Um, and I'm going to go... <clears throat> as the troops get closer, I'm going to uh, put my last boat of Seekers in. But for right now, we're actually looking fairly strong, so I'm okay with where they're at uh, for right now. Um, okay, so... We're still looking fine. We'll take down this engine room. We'll get another second win. And that's more so to protect Kavan than anything else, because I do still need him going strong. So now we're going to go with our last boat of Seekers, maybe a little bit too late. Um, I probably could have thrown that in a little bit earlier. Because um, by the time that I threw them down, I needed them uh, up on that engine room. So that's going to be okay for uh, for right now, I guess. So now we got our second, uh, our last boat of Seekers coming in. And they're not only going to help with, uh, with taking out the, the base, obviously, but they're also going to help a lot with time. So now I'm going to go like this. I'm going to throw all my artillery onto this last engine room. We're going to go ahead and flare onto it. And with just uh, a few seconds left, boom. TRS 400 goes down. It's just that easy, guys. Uh, so we'll see how he's doing on our base. 155. Doesn't look like he's going to get it. We're holding out strong here, guys. We're holding out strong. So this is the whole reason that you keep all your strong defenses up on this side. He's probably still going to get that last engine because I don't think the mortar is going to be in range. Uh, this will be though. Come on. Come on, don't let them off. Okay. That's why you leave your strong defenses for the end because um, you know they have to they have to go this side first. And even if they they like keep flaring, they're gonna waste a ton of GBE trying to stay up here, and then they're not gonna have um, the troops left to, to get through. So it you know, like I said, they're all kind of the same, but that's the idea of it anyway. Um, this looks interesting. Okay, so we got a shock blaster over there. Hmm. Now this looks like a, it's kind of like a split bait, almost. Um, I think I'm still going to keep my troops together. 
what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring in one boat of heavies just because there's a lot of flamethrowers up at the top right here. So we're going to go like this. And then I'm going to go rifle, Kavon, one, two, three, four. And I'm actually going to use one second win off the start here. And I just put those rifles down on the left just so they could um, take, take hits from that shock blaster. And I put the heavies on the right just so they could eat those flamethrowers. Because I didn't want to throw both those, I didn't want to throw all those riflemen into the flamethrowers. They probably would have just died instantly. Um, and it would have been pointless to uh, to use the second win there as well, because they would have just evaporated essentially. Um, okay, so let's go with our second sec our second second win. Uh, okay, so now we're now we're looking okay. Now hopefully we can spread them a bit and kind of split them coming down the side here. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty um, we're going to be pretty stretched for time getting uh, getting all these engines. Now we still have both of our seekers, so we got to keep that in mind. Uh, I can actually throw in one up the top here that's going to go for the left side. And then I'm probably going to throw the next one down on the right. Okay, so we've got a seeker coming in this way. And I'm actually going to throw this one down here just purely as distraction so it stops the shock launcher stops shooting at all my riflemen. Okay, so we're looking all right there. Let's go with another second win, taking our time here. So now we can actually go ahead and just simply flare onto this last engine room, guys. It's all about the flare at the last second. Come on, Gramps, we need you to turn. I might need to upgrade those flares soon. Those flares soon. Chicken can't speak English. Ink. Blah, 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 blah. Can't speak today, guys. Boom. But we're taking down bases. <coughs> Let's see what we're doing here. 218, we got him. We got him, we got him. That's two... That's two uh, that's two defense wins in a row, guys. I'm not one to, 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 to cluck my own beak, but... I mean, clearly it's working very well, so... Um, let's do one more. We got a bit of a win streak going. And you know, like, all this stuff, it's never really set in stone. You kind of have to make changes on the fly if your defense isn't working because you picked different prototypes. By all means, change it. Um, you have to do what works for you at the end of the day, and the same uh, for, especially when... Excuse me? Three engines? What? Five? Yeah, this is fair. This is fair. Um, let's actually go with another boat of heavies. Just because I see nothing but splash damage in mines. Um, so let's go... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw two heavies down, and then before they die, I'll get a quick second win in, and then we'll go... Um, And why don't we just throw the Seekers out all at once and just kind of spam rush this guy. I think that's going to work fairly well here. Um, okay. Let's go with another second win. Yeah, you see what I mean about just sending the Rifleman into the, like, into all that splash damage? Like, they just die right away. Hmm. This is actually pretty interesting. This guy's got, like, fully upgraded defenses. But he only has three engines, so his base is super small and it's really crowded. Hmm. He also doesn't have anything that's going to outrage the bombers, so... We kind of automatically win, I guess. He doesn't have any boom cannons, doesn't have any shock, la or shock uh, launchers, and he doesn't have any prototypes. So I probably should have just thrown all gramps at this, but... I think this ended up being a little bit faster, so that's fine. Um... I'm just going to let him play out. I don't think we really need to do anything too special. We can just kind of sit back, relax, and uh, watch the uh, watch the stars come in. Uh, it's It still took a long time. I mean, shout out to that guy for being... I'm not a high rank right now, but uh, we're going to get to Legendary tomorrow, I assume. Um, <clears throat> but that's pretty crazy that he's all the way up here. And I mean, so far he's actually beating us. He's not gonna. He's not gonna get another engine room, but uh, crazy, Jmon. That was insane. Three engines. He held his own. Now what's gonna happen when he goes this way? Spark is really the. Uh, is really what's hurting us. Not really those riflemen. It's just the her, her critters are distracting the chalk launcher so badly. Go, shock launcher, boom, okay. 
So yeah, there it is, guys. Let me know down below in the comment section um, how many engine rooms do you guys have? And uh, yeah, we're gonna try to go on a, a, a pretty good win streak here. We're at our current best right now. So um, yeah, let me know what you think of that down below in the comments, guys. And as always, thank you so much for watching. That is gonna wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next time, guys. Check it out, Cracker. Cracker.